Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to present on how to make .nk file. So please follow my video. And also many of the viewer are not subscribing my channel. Please do subscribe that uh, is encouraging to me to make more such videos. So starting with the uh, today's topic uh, uh, with my PPT, how to make .nk file or supra file in Silvacum. So uh, starting with the first slide, what is an NK? When light passes through a medium, some part of it will always be absorbed and this can be conveniently taken into account by defining a complex effective index. So what is complex effective index? So you all are familiar uh, seeing that term while doing simulation on solar cell that uh, there is a supra file. So how to generate that file or how to make that file? You always face some of the file is not there and and always finding problems to uh, like create that file. So today in this video, I am going to uh, tell you the way how to make the NK file. So the uh, you know the real part N is the refractive index and uh, like that indicates phase velocity and while the imaginary part K is called extension or uh, absorption coefficient. So uh, this is the introduction of what is N and K and in the uh, site like how to find N and K. This is the one more question you always face uh, while doing simulations. So this is this is the two sites uh, you can follow or you can uh, find your data from here. So uh, I will uh, show you one site. So this is site refractiveindex.info. So see uh, like I am generating a file for Jadano. So what I am doing is I am taking data from here like uh, from wavelength and some particular wavelength. I am taking data from here and and making uh, my file uh, there. So uh, you can see, I will show you also that how I made this, uh, like I use this data to make my .nk file. So going back to PPT. So see how to make supra file. Supra file format. So uh, remember that like initial point means uh, where you start and then the starting wavelength you have to give. Then you have to give the end wavelength. Okay. And then there is a number of sample you have uh, taken from the site website that I have uh, already show you here. So you have to uh, give there and then you have to create an uh, of the first wavelength. Oh, sorry. Uh, like I have to edit. Uh. So this is uh, N for start wavelength and K for start wavelength. Okay, and then that is for second sample like a second wavelength sample means like uh, how much sample you have taken like uh, 0.4 and 1. So if there is a uh, you can say six sample. So that means I am taking the wavelength from 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. That is that. So if you are finding any problem uh, with this explanation, you can uh, write me in comment and I will explain you there. No issue for that and so see uh, any start wavelength k for start wavelength similarly for second sample for second sample k and similarly for n sample so now i am showing you a real demo so uh, coming back to my excel sheet where i have uh, created uh, the data like see uh, how i have created the data so this is n and k i have generated from there right so i have taken n and k n k n k n k similarly this is all samples so i have taken uh, till uh, the point i am showing you i will show you uh, the last point is 352 so i have i have taken data for 352 samples of n and k so uh, what i have done is i have started with a uh, like initial point of one one means serial number you can say and end at 351 right because uh, I have started from 2 so this is 352 so this is all I have generated uh, the NK file and this is a starting wavelength and this is the uh, end wavelength uh, like 0 0.25 means 250 nanometer and 2 uh, means 2000 nanometer so that is that and like and there, there is sample you can see here all are the samples of that and which I already explained you and then what I will do is I will just copy this data and and copy this data and paste it in my word document. Oh, sorry, not word document. Paste it in my notepad. You can also paste in your word document. What is whatever you feel like it is okay for you. 
for me it is okay with not wet so i am doing it there so you can see that i have generated the uh, supra file and what i will do is i will save this save as then i save in my supra where i save my files i i will save there and this is jadono and text format but i don't need text format i will do all files and then what i will do is write nk and now it created nk file there you can you can see here it is in nk format you can see here nk format and it is modified at some time 809 and jadono file you can see the data also so now you can use this file for your simulation and like this is the way how you are going to create dot nk file and and also i will show you one more thing for uh, you guys like uh, that you will uh, find helpful uh, in doing simulations uh, if you want find difficulty in finding supra file what is the supra database in silvaku i will show you that database so see see this is a supra location where all the supra data is available there's all file data also where you can use many uh, like there's a number of place where you can use that file and see uh, if you find difficulty in finding the go uh, to Sarah tools then go to live then go to atlas then go to this version and this common and then supra okay not see that path because this is where i have saved my one but uh, follow from here Sarah tools live atlas and this version and common and supra you will find uh, your file here all the file here and that is helpful in your all kind of solar cell simulations thank you and if you find any difficulty in finding your files and uh, like feeling some difficulty in creating that dot nk file you can contact me from my uh, email or you can contact me in my comment box thank you